Hey, it's Brett with Recording Crave. I have a video out called Bouncing Out Multiple Mixed Stems at One Time, and it's for unprocessed uh, stems. Now, many of the questions I've had uh, regarding that video is how do you bounce out multiple processed stems at one time? The same principle, but it is a little more complicated on the routing. So let's jump into this. Let me show you. Okay, so I have the four my four vocal tracks here, and those are being routed to this vocal bus. Then I have the delays and the verbs, and they're not being routed to this vocal bus because I don't want those delays and verbs impacted by the uh, compression or any additional EQ. So I have the verbs sent to this thing called all vocals here. And then the all vocals is sent to the master bus, which is right next to it. All the music, drums, guitars, bass, keyboards, etc., all is sent to all this music here. So I can control the vocals and the music independently. If I'm coming in too hot to my submaster, this will let me pull everything back and then control it a little bit with that. What I've done already, though, is I created a folder out of the all vocals here. For example, if I was just to right-click this vocal bus here, come down and click Bounce, I would get the vocal, all the vocals right here with the processing right here, but I would not get the reverb. So what I need to do is come over here to this all vocals, right click and bounce it out. I'd get reverb and the voc process vocals. So that's explanation one for the vocals. But let's say we need uh, several stems to be sent out. And that's what really what we're trying to save time. Let's jump down here to the drums, okay? So on the drums, it's a huge drum set. So I have all these drum channels here being sent to this drum bus here, with the exception of the toms. The toms, there's five toms, are sent to this tom channel here. And I process those maybe a little bit different, but they're also sent back into the drum bus. Then I have a, to a snare verb and a tom verb, and that is sent down to the all music slider down here. So that's all sent there, and then the drums are sent there. Uh, and I, the reason I send the verb down there and not to the drum bus for the same reason I mentioned on the vocals, just because I don't want the verbs processed with the uh, compression and additional EQ. And uh, what I did, and this is what you'll have to do unless, you're, unless your aux setup is different than mine, um, you'll have to, what I did was I set up the drums, the snare, the tom, and the tom verb to go to another aux. And then I created a folder out of it. Now, one of the questions I had on one of the other video was, uh, why don't you just uh, bounce off the aux? Well, you can do that. But what happens is when you do that just off the aux, you just get the generic name. When you, do, when you create the folder, it will say uh, whatever you put in there, stems. Like I'm putting, I'm gonna put, I'll put mixing stems. But when I bounce off this drums with verb, uh, it will say mixing stems, drums with verb. It will automatically label that stem on what it is. So that's why you do want to create a folder. So what I do here is I create a send. I turn the send all the way up to zero, and then all these are the same. And that's all sent to here. Now the thing is, is if you are mixing and have a channel like this, you want to mute it when you're not sending your stems out because that will give you additional volume, additional gain going through your audio. And you don't want that because all the drums are being sent to this. So it's doubling and it gets louder. So you want to mute that when not in use or just make it inactive. And again, you may not have to do that depending on how your routing for your auxes are. So the bass, I don't have any verb on the bass, so that will just be a standalone as is. Guitars and verb, that is uh, basically, I never had an aux for this because I only started off with a couple guitar tracks, then it grew and I never created, but I do have verb for it. So I'm sending um, all the, and I don't have any processing on here, all the processing's done within the channels itself for the guitars. So that is guitars and verbs all being sent there. And I had to create a send for that just like I did for the drums. With the drums, I could set, put it on the, uh, the drum bus and then the verbs, and that's it. This one, I didn't have a guitar bus yet, so I have to do it for every channel. Okay, so that, then that's sent to the music. Again, if I play the guitars, it, uh, this is just create, basically I just created a bus for it. So, all right, so 
here we are. I have kind of briefly showed you the setup. Let's get ready to rumble. Actually, let's get ready to bounce out these stems. So I'm going to select that, the vocals. Now, you, you're, maybe you run your auxes all down at one end of your mix window there. I usually will run all my auxes right after each uh, instrument or voice or whatever. So I'm going to select that one because that's all vocals. I'll come down here and select the guitars. I'm going to push command and then select so it keeps the uh, vocals selected. I push command again on the bu bass bus here and then I'm going to push command and select this drums with verb. I'm going to unmute that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click this. And then I'm going to come down and hit Bounce. So this window will pop up, the track Bounce. And what I want to do is make sure if there's any automation that that stays intact. Uh, interleaved, so we have a stereo signal. And then the bit depth, sample rate, and then choose where you want it sent to. If you want it sent to a folder, just do that. I'm going to send it for, to desktop for now. I have offline checked. I'm going to hit bounce. And that will bounce out, and that will take a, a minute or two. Okay, so now that has bounced out. So let's pull them into the session here. Let's go down here. I'm going to come after this aux channel. Select that, and I'm going to drag them into the session. Okay, so I have them all down here. And you can see that it names each, each one. So mix stem vocals. And we'll go to the next one. Mix stems bass bus. Mix stems drums with verb. Mix stems guitars. So click OK. And then let's go to the edit window and just take a look how we have this. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to slow this up. Now these are sent to this master bus here, which is a clean channel. Uh, my actual master bus with processing I have on called it's called Submix. That has all my limiting, uh, EQ, anything that I want to put on the master. And I usually only put stuff on the master if I'm doing a one-off, which this one is. Then the master, I have like an ad adapter AB and then sonar works on there. So this signal's running through nothing. So here's the vocals. I seen your kind before. Okay, vocals with verb and the bass. Just the process bass there. And the drums. Drums drums with verb. Guitars. Everything came through like it should, and it's all labeled because we created a folder. Now, let's say we want to create a, a routing folder. How you do that is when this is just a, a blank folder, but I'm going to show you how to do that. You come up here, and again, it will save you so much time. So once you have all your guitars, or let's say this is a drum aux or whatever, once you have all your drums routed to that, then you want to right-click this. You'll come down here, and then convert it to convert aux to routing folder. I'm not going to convert it now, but that's all you do. And then that will name each track when it's created that folder there. So it, you can bounce off just an aux, but it won't name it. So that's one of the benefits of, of doing that. So anyway, that is how you bounce out multiple processed mixed stems at one time. Hopefully that was helpful. If you got a different way that you do it, I'd love to hear it below. Everybody's got a different routing setup on their auxes, so uh, mine's a little different and probably different for everybody. So hopefully that was helpful, but you get the idea. We will see you in the next video.